From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News Update. Hi, everyone, and thanks for joining us. Here are a few of today's top stories. President-elect Joe Biden made his pick for Education Secretary and its State Education Commissioner, Miguel Cardona. Dr. Cardona was born and raised in Meriden, where he started as a fourth grade teacher before becoming principal at Hanover Elementary. He then became the assistant superintendent before he was chosen by Governor Ned Lamont to be the commissioner of education here. Turning to the coronavirus here in Connecticut, thousands of local health care workers have already been vaccinated and more people will get the shot over the next few weeks. But a change to an age group has some adults missing out for now. Those who are 65 to 74 with high risk medical conditions will have to wait longer. They originally were slated for the new year, but that change was made by the CDC. I think you're going to find that um by the end of January, we ho hope to have all the 1A people vaccinated not once but twice if the um, supply chain holds up. And I'm looking at Josh to get some confirmation, but I think you'll start seeing the 1B people, um, you know, by the end of January get their first shot. Frontline healthcare workers are considered phase 1A. They have already been getting their shots. While air travel is down, Bradley Airport has been working to keep people safe, and those efforts actually earned the airport a COVID-19 health accreditation. The process to earn accreditation looks at the entire passenger experience, check-in, security, boarding, and baggage claim areas. Bradley was recognized for its cleaning and disinfecting, contactless check-in, and restrooms with touchless appliances. Well, your Wednesday is looking good. It's going to be a partly to mostly sunny day. Temperatures will start out cold, but we'll reach the low and middle 40s during the afternoon. The big problems come uh, Thursday night into Friday morning. Heavy rain and a gusty wind could cause uh, flooding and also power outages as well. One to three inches of rain with melting snow and winds could gust to over 60 miles an hour. The storm will end Friday afternoon and that will set us up for a pretty nice weekend. Saturday, partly to mostly sunny in 33. 18 Saturday night, highs in the 30s on Sunday with sunshine, a chance for a wintry mix on Monday.